Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelic Babe, and in this video I'm going to go over my 40 gallon tank. Now, the sand that's in this tank, I actually dragged out of my old peacock tank, and I did experience a few problems with that tank, but I didn't think anything of it, until I watched a video by the Inquisitive Fish Guy 71 earlier this morning, and he was giving away some tips on how to successfully build a decent African tank on a low budget and it came across the part of the subject and it was substrate and he was saying that silica sand causes algae problems now i've never thought of this and i'm thinking is this what the issue is in this tank now i did get a response on my old video of rich's fishes and he was saying it was some kind of green or blue algae so what i've decided to do is i'm gonna take all of the sand out of this tank i'm gonna take all the rocks out i'm gonna give them a good scrub I'm going to go bare bottom <laughs> and I'm going to see if the algae carries on growing the way that it is now in this tank. I have been dosing this tank with New Algae Aquarium, as you all know, I did my first dose last week. Upon doing this, I've spent a lot of time in this tank because it's got my babies in and it's got my tumbling eggs in. And unfortunately, I have got a bit of a rash on both of my wrists and my lower arms. So I'm currently looking into the contents of the new algae aquarium to see if it's this that's giving me the rash. Because obviously my next dose is due this Wednesday and I don't really want to be doing it if it's going to cause me these issues. So I will keep you updated on that one. Um, so right, let's go and dive in and take all the sand out, take all the rocks out, give it a good clean and we'll take it from there. So I will be back. And we're back and as you can see I've taken all the silica sand out of the tank, I've taken all the rocks out, I gave them all a good scrub and I've put them all back in place. Now it's a bit difficult having a bare bottom because I don't really want the rocks to fall and smash the bottom of the tank. So I've put them in the best that I could giving them all each little holes to hide in. And that brings me to my next question. Now these are my Mabuna Fry as you all know. They're about three, four weeks old now and I'm thinking when can I actually move them into the tank? Now, they are pretty small and they are feisty. As you can tell by a few of my previous videos of them, they definitely can hold their own. But as you can see, they're about the size of the tip of my thumb. So they're about two, maybe three centimeters. And the fish that are in here, they're about six centimeters, five, six centimeters, maybe, I don't know. I'm not very good with centimeters and sizes. All I know is they're all small fish. But what I want to know is, when can I actually put the babies into here with these? Will I be okay to do it now? Or is it just something that I do and trial and error, stronger survive kind of thing? Or do I leave them in the breeder box for a little bit longer? If you've got any suggestions, then please feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be grateful for any advice that anybody can give me. Because as you know, I'm new to all this with babies and I don't want to get it wrong. I'd hate to think that I've put them all in here. And I wake up in the morning and these bastards have eaten them all because I'll be gutted. So let me know in the section below. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment below. I love you all. Bye for now.